Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Roger, and we're going to get started getting the paint corrected here on the 66 Barracuda. Now, as you recall from the last video, we uh, got most of the paint done on the body of the car. Since then, we've gotten the, the hood on, we've gotten the fenders on, everything's aligned best as possible, the doors. And I did get the engine compartment completely shot before we left for the big car show in Carlisle. Now, we have to do a little bit more paint correction now. We, uh, you know, this was a learning curve for me, and I'll be honest with you, the engine compartment came out the best. Now, in a previous video, you know, I, when I first started, I laid it on, like, not thick enough, and I had to respray a couple of pieces. When I did the trunk lid, well, yeah, I went too slow. So we're going to start here today. Now, I have enough paint left. If I have to respray the entire trunk, I will. My goal is to try and save it. Now, when I made my first pass, as you can see right here, I mean, that's, it's thick. It's real thick. Um, and it's kind of striped all the way across, just like that. Not as bad over here. Let's see that. Here's another angle. I mean, look at that, that orange peel. I mean, it's really thick across here. You can feel that stripe. And there's another one right down here as well. Down here is not so bad. Uh, we've got some junk in the paint here. As you can see, we're going to need to get that out. So we're going to wet sand all this, get it smoother, and then we're going to kick off over to our polishing. While I was at Carlisle, I stopped at the Adams Polishes, talked to them about how to, you know, cut and buff a brand new single stage paint job, and I settled on this three inch uh, small polisher. Got everything I need, compound, polish, we'll be ready to go. Uh, but first, wet sanding. You know, that area is so heavy, that area is so heavy, I'm going to start with the 12, got a 15, I got 2, 25, 3,000. We'll go as far as I think I need to go before switching to polishing, um, so I have enough here to go. And of course, water. You can see how well we've already done with just the 1200. I mean, you can see the high spots and low spots, just like you're blocking out your filler work. So we're going to continue with a little more wet sanding with the 12. Get it down a little more because this is still very thick in these areas. We need to get this down a lot more before we change grits. That's as far as I'm going to go in that section with the 12. I'm going to switch grits now and uh, keep on going. I'm actually going to go right up to 2,000.
Now I keep stopping every now and then, squeegeeing the water off so I can see how far I'm down, whether I need to continue in an area with the heavier grit or if I can switch out to a, a lighter grit. Um, up in here is still pretty, pretty deep. Same thing across here, this stripe this way. Uh, I gotta do a little more up here. So I'm gonna continue a little bit more with the 2000 and then we'll switch out in a little bit. Switch to a softer block so I start doing the contour a little bit more and try and get some of this dirt out of this area here. Okay, we're going to go with the 2500 on the soft block. I've stopped at the 2500. I'm actually going to switch to the buffer now and try and polish this out and buff it out. I really think that this line here is not going to polish out. You can see the color difference. I just don't know. I know there's a few low spots here. There's a few other areas here that could use some more wet sanding because like I said, this had a lot of heavy orange peel on it. But if I have to respray the whole trunklet, I'm not going to worry about sanding it down the grades. I'm going to hit it with 600 grit and respray it because you know we still have to come over here on this side and address the stripe on this side. It's pretty thick all the way over to here. So we're going to try some buffing and see what we can make happen. Okay, got our polisher, got our compound, I put my speed setting on low. I mean, this goes from a one to six. I'm gonna do like two, two and a half, three. Go slow at first. It's the first time doing this, so you're you're watching it with me live. A little bit here, there. Just kind of move it around, and here we go.
well, you can definitely tell the difference that it polished it up and I guess swirls in there, most likely from the microfiber cloth I just wiped across there. But you can see this if I step back here. Yeah, that's not a reflection. That's that line we we're trying to avoid having to paint. There it is. See that? I must have put it on so heavy that it didn't get any paint and just laid on top of it. Yeah, you can see that right there. That's going to need to be resprayed. But I <laughs> got plenty of paint everywhere else. And I know that this is going to buff out quite nice. And you can see this little dimples there. And I didn't come down this far yet with the buffer. Because I'm probably going to have to tape it off and respray this whole area. But. You see the difference? Yeah, it's going to get there. And again, this is just part of the process. When you're new to doing something, you're going to make mistakes, but you can also correct them. All right, this is where I'm going to end this one for today. You know, I thought it was a pretty good learning experience really um, once i got into that heavier thick paint up on the top of the trunk at that point i knew that i probably should just stop there sanded the entire trunk lid down with 600 grit and resprayed the entire panel but that's the thing about not having done something before you don't know how it's going to come out until you actually wet sand it out or get into it you know next time if there is a next time i'll know what to do but that's the beautiful part about working on these cars. It's gaining that experience as you go along through the process. And that's the beautiful part about what I'm doing. I love passing that stuff on to you folks. I made a mistake. I learned from it. I'm correcting it. And now you know how to do exactly the same thing on your Barracudas. Valiance, doesn't matter what you have. Same thing. Hell, you could be working on a... <clears throat> Never mind. That's where we're at. You can see we have took off our orange peel slash bed liner look. Got it nice and shiny. So we're going to respray this. So if this has helped you, smash that like button. And if you like what we're doing here on the channel, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.